you will fail in college. You will, and it's okay. College, just drop out. <laughs> I'm just kidding y'all, do not drop out. Do not drop out. Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jamie Atalano, I'm back with another video. As y'all can see, I am repping my university. That is right, I go to the University of Maryland at College Park and I am a proud Terp. With July coming in full swing, I know all y'all that are watching this video right now are going through orientation and just finally integrating and transitioning into college life from high school. College is exciting. College is, you know, one of the best and worst times of our lives all mixed together. We love a good sister that experiences duality. But what is the true tea, you know? What are some tips that I wish I knew before I went to college? Tip numero uno, save money. Y'all need to learn how to budget. I did not know how to budget, y'all. I did not know, and I'm a business major. Let's get that straight. I am a business major, and I did not know how to save my money and budget my money properly. And that made me, what, a broke sister. That is right, y'all. Spring break, freshman year, never heard of her. I was spring broke. I was not able to experience a lot of things that I wish I could experience because I was spending my money on food. Get on that financial diet. That is a reference to one of the books that I'm reading currently right now. Yes, y'all. Actually, let me get this book right now and show y'all. Yes, honey, y'all need to get into this, The Financial Diet. Y'all, this book is so good. It is a total beginner's guide to getting good with money. I think everyone needs this book. High schoolers, incoming freshmen, people currently in college like me. It is just really great. It's written by Chelsea Fagan, and it has just been a life-saving book. It has been teaching me a lot about kind of my own personal finance. So your personal finance matters, and you should start thinking about it now. That's something I wish I started thinking about coming into college, not midway. I'm already going into being a rising junior, and now I'm starting to think about personal finance. So this is something that y'all need to take initiative about if you don't already have knowledge about it, is taking the initiative to be more financially responsible and really budget and really start saving on things so that you can live your best life long term. Tip number two, the worst thing anyone can say is no. That is right, ask away. The job that I have now on campus, I literally went in to the office that I work in now and I was like, y'all hiring? And the person, the advisor that was working there said, what's your email? This tip is just really important because when you're coming to college, I know it can be very scary, very daunting to ask for things that you need. Don't limit yourself from opportunities because of fear or doubt. This tip is good because you're learning what it feels like. If someone were to say no to you, you're accepting that. You're accepting, okay, no whatever, but you're also realizing that this is not the end of the world and that you can move on and find another opportunity. This actually leads to my third tip is learning how to fail. When you hear no, uh, and when you get that sense of rejection and that feeling of failure, learn from it. When you don't learn from your failures, you are stuck in a stagnant place. Growth is all about being uncomfortable. Growth is about experiencing discomfort. Growth is about challenging yourself. How are you gonna grow when you're not failing? You know, if you're not pushing yourself out there. How are you going to grow as a person when you are only experiencing successes. I am not perfect. I am still dealing with this process. I'm still trying to understand what failure feels like. I'm preaching this out to y'all because I'm going through it too. We're all going through it, sisters. It, no one is perfect. We're all learning what it means to fail and what it means to be successful. The main point that I wanna get out of this tip is that you will fail in college. You will, and it's okay. It's how you respond to failure that really shows how much you have grown from that experience. Start learning how to fail because really, if you don't start now, when are you gonna start? After college, after you get that degree? No, you wanna have all these skills learned or at least developed or developing in college so that when you get out of there with your degree, you are much more prepared to work in the real world. All right, tip number four, quattro. Y'all, the university has unlimited resources. Yes, y'all need to milk out this school, these universities. You're paying all this money for tuition, all these scholarship monies you are putting into the school. Use it, use the resources that are in the school that they have placed for you. A lot of people don't. A lot of people feel like they're not entitled to using the university's resources. Ah, uh, yes, you are, sis. You know, I wrote an essay, I'll go to the writing center and get that essay checked out. You know why? Because it existed and I could. I'm paying for this college, I'm paying for these resources, might as well get a tutor. Just make sure you are taking the initiative to use these resources and find out what you need from this university. You know, no one in college is really going to tell you what you need most of the time. 
a lot of it is you figuring out. And that's something that I wish I learned um, coming into freshman year. What did I need? What did I need? Where can I find it? How can I use it? And why am I using it, you know? And last but not least, tip number five, get a bike. Yes, get a bike, y'all. Get a bike, get a bike, key, key. Are you riding? Yes, yes, I'm riding, y'all. I'm riding my bike all around campus, all around town. Freshman year, I was walking. I was walking and my school, UMD, that is a big school. Like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Why was I struggling that hard? Why didn't I just get a bike? Get yourself some wheels, bike, scooter, rollerblades, wheelies, a skateboard. I've seen it all and it works. It helps. It helps a lot because I'm telling y'all like walking just takes a lot of energy from you. So invest in a bike, invest in some wheels. Anyways, I hope y'all found this video valuable and insightful. Thank y'all again for watching my video. I really hope I have drilled it into y'all's mind um, to really take these tips into consideration and to really reflect on a lot of these things. I just want to be here to help y'all out. I wanna be here to make sure y'all are out here being the best versions y'all can be and to really enjoy your college experience. Tune in next time for my next video and yeah, have fun in college, y'all. Bye.